and I'm assuming that I'm over here. All right, I'm going to go to Pavlovo. But I want to stick to the trees. Let's get into the trees and let's go find some chow. All right, this is excellent. This is a good start. So it's a heck of a lot easier to find a tent and loot it than having to rifle through houses and industrial buildings and barns to get to scrounge up a bunch of crap. It's just a rock. Okay, no cause for alarm. Yeah, that's a lot of hard work that someone probably spent a lot of time doing. But hey, it's a survival game. It's better that than me shooting someone and taking all the stuff, I guess, right? I'd rather be robbed or burglarized, actually, not even robbed. Robbed is when there's uh, an actual victim. And, uh, you know, there's the, the robber and the victim. And there's an encounter between the two. Otherwise, it's just a burglary. So, hey. You gotta take the good with the bad, people. At least whoever he is is gonna come back and he'll have his life. I'm sure he's got some goodies on him anyway. Alright, I'm gonna switch to first person mode. Not sure if it's me or what, but it does. feels a little. A little better op optimized now, I don't know. I feel as clunky. What was that? Now I'm all nervous again. Here, everything... <laughs> everything's moving. There's a player around every tree. Behind every tree. There's a zombie over every hill. This must be Pavlovo. scope is it? It's more of a reflex type site. Okay, we got Zeds. Let me get down here. I should, man, I should probably try my sniper rifle. I'm just worried that when I try to get that sucker out, it's gonna screw something up, something's gonna fall to the ground, and I'm gonna end up losing something. Hate that. So when I take the sniper rifle out, I'm hoping this goes into the bag, right? Isn't that how it works? <laughs> so I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna stick with the M4 right now. I'm, I'll play around with that later. But I'm gonna need food, and that's where I'm gonna find it. Do dare stands have food? Probably not. I've got a flashlight attachment on this thing, too. Pretty sick. All right, hold up one sec. I want to look at something on the map. Okay. Uh, there's a couple of uh, industrial buildings here. I wonder if I can find a knife and I can hunt and cook. It's really the best kind of food. Now, what kind of building is that? It's some kind of official office building. Uh, like a governor's office or something, or a mayor's office. A governor, but a mayor or something, I think. It's a lot of shooting to get in there, and I don't have a handgun. So a stealthy approach is probably out of the question. I might be able to come in from... that tree line there and work my way in through the back or come up through this tree line. Let's cross the street and go to the other tree line. I'll verify that I'm crouched, okay. I 
don't see any movement. Having all this stuff now, it's it pretty much puts you on your guard. You have to <laughs> be a little more cautious than running straight down the street when you have nothing, of course. I mean, this is common sense, but this is where the game really takes a turn. And, you, and it's difficult, and I know this goes back to some of the, my earlier episodes, to find a good balance between stealth and action and keep people interested in the series. Um, I want to play the game the way I want to play it, but as an entertainer, this is something I have to consider as well, is keeping people um, entertained, you know, visually, uh, audio-wise, etc. So, uh, commentary, And going into a town guns blazing is is not the best way to play the game for sure, and it's fun for well while it lasts. And well, you saw my death; <laughs> um, <laughs> doesn't last long when you do that. So I don't want to just run in here, despite the fact that I have this M4 and a lot of ammo. I don't want to bring the horde down upon my head. But I am kind of in desperate straits here. I need to get food or I will die of starvation. And the last thing I want is to die of starvation with all these goodies. Uh, here we go. Now that's loud. Probably not as loud as an AK, but it's loud enough. Oh, you know, I shouldn't be reloading after every... Ah, see? Here's where... Uh, I'm thinking uh, other games. So the mags here actually do keep track of the number of rounds in each mag. So, all right, I don't want to go into a town with a half empty mag either. So here's another consideration. And what do these mags hold? 30 rounds a piece? Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't need to change those out for a while. Even when you get down to about half a dozen rounds. All right, I want to get to the tree line, but I don't want to attract a whole lot of zombie attention either. They can spot you for quite a distance. I, I've got to try to get re-familiar with the, uh, the sensitivity of these buggers, because it's been a while. I don't want to go right down the road into the middle of town. What is this? So I'm going to try to sneak in the back over there. There's a few zombies, but I can take them out from a distance with this M4. Shouldn't be too much trouble without attracting a whole lot of attention. Of course, anytime you fire a weapon near a town, you have to worry about... players. Now, what is this over there? Because I would prefer to check a barn out in the countryside rather than waltz into the middle of a town. But I don't think that is a barn over there. Let me see. I think that's a residence up there all by itself. I, you know what? Let's go check the residence. I mean, if I get lucky, I find some chow I'll be in good shape and I don't have to walk into this town. I mean, clearly, I don't want to go to the town. <laughs> if you couldn't tell, I'll come right out and tell you. If you couldn't detect it from the way I'm playing and the way I'm talking, I don't want to go to town. There's a headshot. Come on, chump. I'm going to take this guy to the field. Oh, crap. Now 
I don't know if this drops them like the AK does, which is usually... Oh, darn, here they come. All right, let's go. Let's get out in the field here so I can go. I'm trying to remember what my sprint button is. That's where the fun begins. I think that's five, six rounds so far. And I don't think the ammo mags are going to give me the count when I look at them. So I guess the little green meter certainly is a good indication. Yeah, that looks like you know, it's a, that's a residence. And I think that's one that I can get inside. I do have a soda. So, hydration is not a problem yet. Well, looking at myself with this M4 is pretty sweet. I don't see a lot of movement here. It might be in pretty good shape. I'd like a knife. I will actually just like a can of food just to get me through the day. <laughs> and then I would like a knife so I can be more self-sufficient and get out into the woods. All right, we've got unfriendlies here. I'm hitting the grass. Seriously. Three shots. Did he fire three shots? Or only five? No. Six shots or only five. There's another Zed here. I only shot one of them. I don't see his buddy. Come on, buddy. Ooh, we got a tricksy one. Did he not have a friend? I could have sworn he had a pal. Where did he go? Alright, slice the pie here. Slice the pie. Did he go on the other side of this house? Or is he behind the woodsy treesies? He may, maybe he was alone. I thought I saw a buddy. There's a guy out in the field. Oh no, I can't get in this house. No! I thought this was one that I could enter. Dang it! It is not. Okay. Looks like I don't have a choice but to go... Was there a front stoop? Alright, this stupid map said residential. Said it was accessible, but that is obviously not the case. So let's head back down to the town. And I gotta get me some food. I'm gonna have to go in guns blazing because I, I gotta get chow, man. Creepy forest is creepy. All right, easy on the breathing there, buddy. Ah, water is going down. I do have a soda. Oh, I'm okay in that regard, but I won't drink it until I absolutely need it. Until that thing goes bright red, maybe even starts flashing.
Okay, here's where things get interesting and very hairy. <laughs> I don't know which one of these I'm going to be able to actually enter. But I'm going to need some food. Somebody's home. All right. Um, I'm going to just park my butt here for a sec and call it quits. I'll be right back. 